Hello, I'm Valentin Tachukin, Product Manager of the IPC2 company. Today I will tell you about the TDS700 series compact serial interface servers manufactured by the ICPDAS company. TDS700 serial interface servers are designed to connect devices with RS-232, 422, 485 interfaces to a computer via Ethernet. A virtual COM port will be installed on your computer, used just like any other COM port. Data will be transmitted transparently without any change. The table shows the main differences between the TDS700 series. Each model has up to three COM ports. RS-232, 422, 485 COM ports are available. Models with insulation are also available, marked via the eye letter. The TDSM712 model has a metal case. The TDS700 can be powered via 12 to 48 volts DC power socket. Each model comes with a 30 cm power cable. You could also feed it via Ethernet port using POE technology. TDS servers support paired connection, which allows you to increase the distance between devices with a serial interface using an Ethernet network. Now, let's configure the TDS module. By default, the TDS700 is in a server mode, which allows receiving data from devices connected to the TDS700 COM port. To work with TDS700, you need to install the VXCOM utility program, which allows you to create a virtual COM port. You can download it from the manufacturer's website. Run the VXCOM utility. We find the server by clicking the Search Servers button. Next, select the server and add it via the Add Servers button. Select the port number from which the new COM ports will be added. Click OK. On the right side of the window, we see how our TDS ports are connected to the virtual COM ports on our computer. We can adjust them if necessary. Reboot the driver. New COM ports won't show up in the device manager, but we can still use them. You can now send data through the COM port. For example, we'll take the M7055D module with an RS485 interface that works with the Modbus RTU protocol. Our computer will be Modbus RTU Master, which will manage the M7055D module. We open the terminal. Open our port and send the command to turn on the discrete outputs. We got a response from our device. Lights on the M7055D module tell us that everything is working just fine. Success! The pairing mode allows you to increase the distance between devices with a serial interface via an Ethernet network. Here we have two TDS718 modules and one M7055D module. Our first TDS718 module is connected to the M7055D module and the other one to the computer via the RS485 converter to USB. First, configure the TDS718 module connected to the computer. We go to its web interface and enter the password you can find in its instruction manual. In the port 1 tab, go to Settings and select the COM port speed and choose the Client mode. In the Client mode, TDS will send data to the specified IP address. Enter the IP address of the TDS connected to the M7055D module. Confirm the settings by clicking Submit. The second TDS connected to the M7055D module also needs to be configured. Select the COM port speed and choose the server mode. Confirm your configuration by clicking Submit. Let's test it through the terminal. Open our port and send the command to turn on the discrete outputs. Got a response from the device. Check the lights on the M7055D module. Visit us at ipc2u.com.